Hi, this is Mrs. Breifeld. I'm going to try and help you solve a one-step algebra equation. When you look at this problem, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, what is the variable in this problem? The variable is a letter that is used to represent a number. You don't know what that number is, and you won't until you solve it. But first recognize where is the variable, and here it is, it's x. And what you need to do is isolate that variable. It needs to be by itself on one side of the equation. First, the next thing you need to do is ask yourself, well, what's going on with that variable? If you look down here, you can see that 8 is being added to it. In order to isolate it, you need to say, what is the opposite of adding an 8? The opposite of adding 8 is subtracting 8. And because this is algebra, the magic words are what you do to one side of the equation, you need to do to the other. So you need to subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. When you do that, a positive 8 with a negative 8 cancel out, they equal 0, and now x is by himself on one side of the equation. You have isolated him. Now, this side of the problem, that's where you need your notes on positive and negative integers. Since I don't see any multiplication or division over here, then I go to the top part of my notes where it says adding and subtracting. Are the signs the same or different in this problem? They're the same. So look where it says same and do step one. You add the digits together. 10 plus 8 is 18. Well, step 2 says use the sign that's in front of the biggest digit. The biggest digit is 10, and there's a negative in front of it. So x equals negative 18. I'm going to look at another problem. This problem is 2x equals 12. First thing I'm going to ask myself is, what is the variable? The variable is x. It's on this side of the equation, and I need to isolate it. That means get it by itself. The second thing I ask is, what's going on with that variable? So I look at it, and this number backs right up to the letter, so I know this is multiplication. This x is being multiplied by 2. And then I ask myself, well, what's the opposite of multiplying by 2? And the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. And because this is algebra, you have to remember whatever you do to one side of the equation, you need to do to the other side of the equation. So I need to, to divide the other side by 2 as well. Now, looking over here, if you have 2 divided by 2, it equals 1. And 1 times x is x. You have isolated the variable. Down comes the variable. Down comes the equal sign. Now you're going to use your notes to solve this side. You ask yourself, do you see any multiplication or division signs? Yes, you do. This is a division sign in algebra. So I'm going to divide. Before you divide, ask yourself, are the signs in front of these numbers the same, or are they different? They are the same. There are two invisible positive signs in front of there. That means the answer is positive. And now I can divide. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Here's another example. This problem is negative 4m equals negative 20. First thing I ask myself is, what is the variable? The variable is m. I need to be looking on this side of the equation. I need to isolate the variable. The next thing I ask is what's going on with that variable? Well, I look at the number. It's right up next to the variable. That means multiplication. Don't get confused and think that you're subtracting 4 because you're not. There's nothing that you would be subtracting 4 from. For this to be a subtraction sign, there would need to be a number 
or a variable in front of that subtraction sign. And because it's not, this means that this is a negative 4. So what's going on with the, that variable is it's negative 4 times m. And then I say, well, what's the opposite of a negative 4 multiplying by negative 4? The opposite of multiplying by negative 4 is dividing by negative 4. And because this is algebra, you always do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So I divide the other side by negative 4 as well. 4 divided by 4 is 1. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So these two equal 1, and 1 times m is m. You have isolated the variable. Down comes the variable. Down comes the equal sign. Now looking at your notes, you can see that this is division. And the signs are the same. When the signs are the same, the answer is positive. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the answer to this problem is m equals positive 5. Okay, we're going to try another one. This problem is p divided by 4 equals 8. First thing you ask yourself, what is the variable? The variable is p, and you know you need to isolate it. The second thing you need to ask yourself is what's happening to that variable. That variable is being divided by 4. Well, what's the opposite of dividing by 4? The opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. And you can write that 4 right next to the P, because when a number backs up to a letter, you know it's multiplication. And because of the rules of algebra, what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So you have to multiply the other side by 4 as well. Now, going back to where the variable is, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 1 times P is P. You've now isolated that variable. So let's bring it down. P equals, referring to your notes, you can see that this is multiplication. The signs are the same. So the answer is going to be positive. 8 times 4 is 32. This is going to be my last example. And then this problem, it's p divided by negative 6 equals 2. You need to ask yourself, what is the variable? The variable is p. This is the side of the equation you need to be looking at. And then you need to isolate p, the variable. The second thing you ask yourself is what's going on with that variable. p is being divided by negative 6. Well, what's the opposite of dividing by negative 6? The opposite of dividing by negative 6 is multiplying by negative 6. And I can do that by writing negative 6 right in front of the variable. But because this is algebra, you have to remember what you do to one side of the equation. You need to do the, to the other side. So on the other side of the equation, I'm also going to multiply by negative 6. So I'll look back over here where the variable is. I know that 6 divided by 6 is 1. I know that if the signs are the same, it's positive. A positive 1 times p is p. So I have isolated the variable. Down comes p. Down comes my equal sign. And I'm going to use my, my notes for positive and negative integers. I see that this is multiplication, and I ask myself, are the signs the same or different? They're different. There's a negative sign in front of the 6. There's no sign in front of the 2. That means there's an invisible positive sign. So the signs are different. That means the answer is negative. And 2 times 6 is 12. So the answer is negative 12. I hope that helped. This is Ms. Freifeld. Goodbye.